Good morning everyone. We are group number 1 and we are going to present here supply chain management in Mahindra and Mahindra. A single car consists of more than 7000 parts and when they come on the assembly line they get multiplied because of different variants. Engine is a part of car and has more than 300 parts in it. These models are sold all over the world to stay ahead of the competition and parts are supplied from across the globe. This is done to either maintain the quality or minimize the cost. Different methods are being used to decide the pool of suppliers, example, center of gravity method, load distance method, etc., which is in line with the supply chain strategy. Different OEMs have their suppliers and these suppliers supplies to different OEMs. Network integrator makes supply chain more robust because lots of data is being stored and transferred among suppliers. It helps to decide the crosstalk location which minimizes the cost and does effective information circulation among the OEMs and the suppliers. Now let's see how it's done in Mahindra and Mahindra. This is the assembly line of Mahindra XUV 500 in Chakan for all variants. Mahindra prepares body of the car, engine of the car in-house and does the assembly. Apart from these, they have their own logistics company to manage over 1000 parts. They use sub-assembly methods and for few parts like cockpit, they have de developed their suppliers inside the plant so that they can follow just that. If we talk about sub-assembly, they have 6-7 sub-assemblies, example engine, transaxle, door, etc. Before 2014, they used to outsource knuckle from Revolt Auto Industries Private Limited, which is a local supplier in Pune, but now they make it in-house for cost optimization. My Indra supply chain strategy is somewhat responsive. They make to order, assemble to order, plus keep small buffer with them to make their delivery chain more efficient. They have approximately 350 suppliers out of which 100 are in Pune. They have planned to reduce their supplier base by 10% year on year. They have vendor policy as per parts. For few parts, they have multi vendors and for others, they rely on single vendor, example all type of glass. One of the most critical part of cars is seat. As seats require homologation and safety regulation tests, one of them is called anchorage test. Any change in mountings of these call for tests again. Seat is a capital and tooling intensive part. Tooling intensive means it requires an initial investment in tooling development. In Mahindra suppliers for seat is Lear. It is a sole supplier for seat. Lear supplies to many OEM but tooling development is done by individual OEMs. Each OEM has different assembly line in Lear's plan. Mahindra has also developed complete tooling of its seat at Lear plant. Seats are being transferred using travelers as supplier is close to the assembly plant. So JIT concept is being followed by the supplier. In total, there are six variants of seat for SUV. Information related to variants for assembly is transferred one day before the production schedule and seats are made available in the plant two hours before the assembly. This reduces the inventory holding cost. Transportation costs are already low because supplier's plant is near to Mahindra's assembly plant. The, these seats are stored in the logistics area specifically dedicated for seats on the shop floor and then transferred online through forklifts. Seats are covered with non-recyclable plastic. These covered seats are as it is transferred to the customer. Now you can see here how assembly line is continuously running and simultaneously seats are transferred on the line. This method of synchronization is called as sequencing of material which helps in reduction of the inventory. Now seats are finally at the line for the fitment by the operator. We are now going to show the supply chain of tire which is again class A part. Mahindra follows multi-vendor policy for tires due to price difference. Mahindra has three main suppliers for tires, Bridgestone, Apollo and JK Tires. JK Tires is the cheapest supplier and is used only for low variants. Bridgestone is of the best quality and are being used for all export vehicles and higher domestic variants. Bridgestone plant is in Chatham only so again small quantity of inventory is stored but it is higher than that of seats because alloy rims are fit inside the plant. Suppliers closer to the plant send the tires through trucks. Example, Bridgestone sends tires directly from their manufacturing plant to Mahindra's manufacturing plant. But suppliers like Apollo and JK Tire, which have their manufacturing plants outside Maharashtra, have their warehouses in Pune to avoid the lead time and demand fluctuation. 
These warehouses supply to all the OEMs nearby. Production schedule is sent to the supplier and supplier informs the warehouse and then materials is sent to the Mahindra plant through local sub transporters. So this is how tire reached to the assembly plant and used by the operator. Different parts follow different transportation method based on their class and property. Mahindra has a complete different logistics company to manage these decisions. Vehicle is completed and is ready to transport to the dealer. Before sending, all vehicles are stored inside the plant at a place called logistic yard. And this is a place where all the vehicle is handed over to the Mahindra Logistics. And finally, Mahindra Logistics transport it to all over the world. Different types of modes are being used by the Mahindra Logistics, which depends on the distance, which could either be by travelers, trains or ships. Travelers are used to cover shorter distance, example within Maharashtra. One traveler can accommodate more than 10 vehicles. Trains are used for long distance and with greater quantity. After unloading at one location, trains again take momentum and cover other states. Trains are cost effective mode of transportation if transfer quantity is higher. Third mode of transportation is marine, which is the costliest one, only used to export the vehicles overseas. Transportation date, time and destination is well decided well before and vehicles are only shipped if the order is placed. Vehicles are transported to the marine warehouses and from there, with the help of travelers, vehicles are loaded into the ships. These vehicles are received abroad by Mahindra's vertical called International Operations counted and quality is checked by the officers. Now vehicles are at dealer's end, handed over to the dealers. Sold by the dealers to the customers. Data of customer is recorded and sent to Mahindra. Mahindra collects the sales data and servicing data and use it for further forecasting. This is all from our side and we are open to questions.